just wrong with doing any of his moves and this shit. We just really was just playing, playing hot seat, running around. This, 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 this going on all this going on all this going on all through the whole thirty days. Like, yeah, like straight waking like, up this the morning time. Oh, oh, no. time, time. <laughs> <laughs> morning time, evening time. So it's like it was really like a lock in, so it's bad like non stop all day, every day, like it's crazy. DD, DD, the big threat with a take town savage. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, DD. You do your thing, boy. You see what I'm saying? You do your thing, boy. You see what I'm saying? You hold that block down. We take town for life. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to my little one. Shout out to my little man. You know what I'm saying? DD, OTF, DD. Now, for those who don't know, OTF DD man, he like my little brother, man. DD like my little brother. That's my heart right there. You see what I'm saying? Anybody play with DD, they'll get their nose wiped. You see what I'm saying? They go get their nose wiped, and that ain't nothing but the truth. You feel what I'm saying? So check this out. Um, little bro, I ain't been able to talk to you lately, but um and, and, and congratulate you on beating that body. I'm glad you got that over with. Got that part of your life out the way. Now it's time for bigger and better things. You stay focused, boy. You know no matter what, uh, what's going on on the tube or the things with me and Durkio, Perkio, you know what I'm saying? And you already know that uh, that we don't uh, we don't even discuss that when we talk. You see what I'm saying? Because I know the respect that you have for Dirk, and I know the respect that you have for me. So I try my best not to never... Um, entwine you in those situations. You see what I'm saying? And for those who don't know, y'all, OTF Didi, he's a real, real, real 100 loyal dude. Didi is a real dude. You know what I'm saying? Now, I was just checking out this little on the porch interview with um, with Zoo, Didi, and um, Duty Low. And Zoo brought back, um, Zoo brought back a little deja vu what Zoo was explaining about um, the day him and Didi got picked up for those bodies and they went through the county together, went to a bond hearing together and all that. And the reason why I say it brought back days, ya vu, is because I remember that day like the back of my hand. We was actually um, dropping a video on 59th and Princeton. We was doing a video over there and um, I was out there. Um, we was finna get ready to do the video and me and Didi, we were out there standing over there chilling whatever, whatever, and um, and Dirk came through. You see what I'm saying? Dirk came through, and um, he really surprised me that day. He came through and jumped in the video. Dirk came through and jumped in the video. You see what I'm saying? And um, and that was a real play thing to do. You feel me? And I was just, you know, I, I was fresh out, and I was trying to, um, you know, I was getting back into the game, getting my artists and stuff back right. And um, Dirk came and got in the video. You know, we was doing a video with um, with Katie Got Bands that day. And Dirk came and got in the video. You know, we chopped it up a little bit and all that. And um, and, and I thought that was a real play thing for Dirk to do because you got to understand, Dirk had his career and all type of stuff at the time. He was already signed. So, you know what I'm saying? I felt that was a real play thing to do. Then then, um, then my little man, Didi, he had, a, um, he, he had a big part in that too. You see what I'm saying? He had a big part in Dirk jumping in the video too. So, um, so you know, I kept it playing with Dirk, and, you know, we chatted for a little bit, and I let Dirk know. I was like, man, that was a real thing you did. You see what I'm saying? I really appreciate that. And I know Dirk at the time, Dirk was um, messing with the lean, right? So um, at the time, I had a plug on the lean, the purpose stuff. So I was like, man, don't even trip. That was playing what you did. Well, man, I'm going to slide you with lean through. I'm going to give you a pint. You see what I'm saying? For just jumping. He was like, all right, cool. You feel me? So um, and then that 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 day, y'all, uh, the, the next day when I got up, Didi had got snatched up that day. Zoo got snatched up and Dirk, you know, Zoo and Dirk got snatched in the, in the crib together. But they snatched um, DD too for a body in the temp, snatched Zoo for the body and Dirk for the pistol. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was kind of messed up in the head when that happened because they snatched my little man DD. You know what I'm saying? They snatched my little man DD and I, I, I was sick when they snatched DD. And then, uh, and then they had snatched um, Dirk too. You see what I'm saying? They snatched Dirk. Then they snatched Zoo too. 
So I was like, um, all right, I know I had promised Dirk that little um, that, 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 that little pint of lean. So I was like, ooh, I just told my little artist. I was like, look, get up with Dirk manager, woo up the van or whoever, because I know I promised him that lean. So he in the jam right now. So I, I guess he can just um, just get him the money. You feel what I'm saying? He ain't asked for it or nothing like that. So I ain't saying like he needed. He asked for it or nothing. I gave it to him. I was just like, told my little artist, like, man, here, get us the um, Dirk manager. You see what I'm saying? Because I promised Dirk some, so he probably need it right now because he in that little jam. So um, Dirk got out and, and, and thanked us for getting, giving it to him and the whole nine like that. But that's why that day brought back deja vu because it was like, it was crazy. Like we had just did the video and everything. Like when they grabbed Dirk and them that day, like everybody still had the same clothes on from the video. So you, you see how quick it was, like right after we did the video, like they was on the news. You see what I'm saying? Get flashed across the news. So they did pick Didi and Zoo up the same day. You see what I'm saying? So they went to bond here and all that, went through the county together and everything. You see what I'm saying? Went the reception together. So that's why I say that brought back deja vu for me. When Dirk bonded um, DD out, you see what I'm saying? Like um, DD called me, like we vibed on the phone, we talked and all that, you see what I'm saying? And uh, we kept it cordial and, and, and I'm a real dude, y'all. This was at the time when, um, when, when, when the issue was going on kind of with Vaughn and stuff and, 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 and and me and Dirk, why well, me and Dirk were not, I was saying what I was saying on the internet as far as, you know what I'm saying, with the situation with Dirk, right? But um, when when Didi, when me and Didi conversed, when he came home and we was talking on the phone, um, you could ask Didi, I, I kept it playing. I'm a real dude. You see what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't about none of that. I'm a real dude. You feel me? And I kept it playing with Didi. And I basically just told him, like, um, you know what I'm saying? Dirk bonded you out. You know what I'm saying? Just, just do what you got to do, man. Uh, uh, stay loyal to that boy, which I know D.D. always going to do because D.D. a loyal guy. You know, but I, I didn't sneak this Dirk or none of that like that because I, I, I can't even, um, I can't do that. I feel awkward because I know the love that D.D. got for me and the love that he got for um, for Dirk. You see what I'm saying? Like, I told y'all plenty of times, like, D.D. is the only person that probably can be like, Peso, man, chill that out. And then I'll never say nothing about it again. You feel what I'm saying? He's the only person that probably can just say that. But at the same token, I'm going to still keep it a band, though. You see what I'm saying? Because it's it, it was never about hate. It's about opinion. You see what I'm saying? You see, I got opinion. He got opinion. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I kept it 100 with D.D. I told D.D., I say, stay loyal. Do what you got to do. Try to stay out the rack. You see what I'm saying? Watch yourself and, and, and stay loyal to Dirk and go up there and do what you got to do. You feel me? And I was supposed to wouldn't have bumped into him a couple times before he had um, be before he had took off and went to Atlanta. But then he had took off and went to Atlanta. So we had missed each other and stuff like that. But that's what I be telling y'all when I be like, it's kind of awkward when um, with the situation with me and Dirk, you see what I'm saying? And the love that I know that I got for Didi, you feel me? Like, um, like Didi, he, he, he like my family, man. You see what I'm saying? Mama, sisters, all that. You feel what I'm saying? That's my family. So at the end of the day, um, I got to respect it. You see, I got to respect the moves that he make to better his life and things like that. And I can, and I'm man enough to still sit up here just like I told Didi on the phone. I told him, I said, tell Dirk, I said, thanks. I thank Dirk for for getting my man out. You see what I'm saying? Out that jam. And now he beat the case, so now he can live a better life. So now, D.D., you got to tee up, dog. You see what I'm saying? Just got to turn up for the block. You you know what I'm saying? You could be one of the biggest things that come off about a take time. So just do what you got to do, boy. You feel me? And tee up. You know what we've been through. Throw that struggle up in there. You see what I'm saying? You know what you got to tee up for? You got to tee up for tape or you got to tee up for Buddha. You know, DD and Buddha. You know <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. Tee up for Buddha, man, man. Tee up for Sade. You feel me? You know what to do, man. Tee up. Kiki, boy. You already know. Kiki. You know how it be. Me, you, Kiki, ride, man. You see what I'm saying? We ain't got Kiki with us no more. We ain't got Sade with us no more. We ain't got Buddha with us no more. We ain't got Tay with us no more. And a lot of more guys that we lost from the block. You see what I'm saying? So the ball is in your hand, man. Play ball, man. You see what I'm saying? Because we gonna keep it all the way 10 band. You see what I'm saying? It was like um, when you was in that jam, you feel me? You knew the real ones you had in your corner. You knew Dirk was in your corner. You knew Chop was in your corner. And you definitely knew Peso was in your corner. You see what I'm saying? So just do what you got to do. You feel me? Do what you got to do. And the best thing about it is, guess what? Everybody that was in your corner, like me, Dirt, Chop, all us, you see what I'm saying? Guess what? You know we straight. We ain't coming with no handouts. It's, it's your way. Do it your way. You feel what I'm saying? And I say that to say this here. You got a few real people 
that genuinely want to see you grind. You see what I'm saying? That genuinely want to that genuinely want to see you grind. Cause guess what? Um, dirt cool. You ain't got to get dirt now. Dirt genu- genuinely want to see you grind. He genuinely want to see you come up. You see what I'm saying? Cause he know the loyalty. He know how loyal you is. He know you're a real dude. You know what pay so. I don't need nothing. You know I'm cool. I genuinely want to see you grind. You see what I'm saying? And win, just like Chop. You know what I'm saying? And you know me. You know every time we're around each other, you know I'm giving you some game, right? And that's just it. That's all. But the real thing I like about it is that you always soak that game in. You see what I'm saying? And that's why Didi was always um, a little more mature and a little more standout than the other little guys on the block. You feel what I'm saying? Didi just like a born leader. You feel me? Listen, y'all, for, for real, though, y'all, we're not just seeing this oh, on, on the porch thing, man. Like, y'all, man, it just made me feel good, man. I, I'm genuinely happy for D.D., man. I swear, I'm genuinely happy for him, man. He deserve it, man. You feel what I'm saying? All that loyalty, he deserve it. And um, I'm glad D.D. is able to um, um take care of little bro, moms, sis, little. You see what I'm saying? I'm glad he able to do his thing, man. You feel me? I'm glad he able to do his thing. I bet you I could tell you this. I bet you... um. See, Dirk and Diddy the same age. So when I say this right here, it don't got nothing to do with like Dirk right here. I bet you I could tell you this. I bet you Diddy will tell you that that's one OG right there. Peso always wanted to see me win. You see what I'm saying? I never wanted my shorty to get in no trouble, no bull crap. I ain't want him to never get locked up for none of that crap. None of that. I wanted him to win, and he know it. You see what I'm saying? He know what I did. Every time I seen that boy, he will tell you, I ain't lying. First thing I used to do every time I see him, Walk right up to him and pat him down. You see what I'm saying? I used to pat him down and throw him in the car with me. You see what I'm saying? Because I used to do that because I always wanted to make sure he got it. You see what I'm saying? If he outside, I wanted to make sure he got it because I wanted nothing to happen to him. You see what I'm saying? Look, I had a rule on normal that um, no dreadheads could get in my car. It was only two dreads that can get in my car. And that was DD and money bags. The only two. Every single day, I come on the block, I see my little man, I make sure he got money in his pocket. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to do that anyway. Here, here, Didi, here, boom, let's hop in the car. Well, let's go get some steaks. Let's go grab some clothes and stuff right quick. We'll have him go shopping or something and just make sure he got some money in his pocket because he's just going to go chill and, 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 you know, we'll stay out the way, man, and just stay out the way. You feel me? I did all my little guys like that. You see what I'm saying? I did them all like that, but um, Didi was just the one. He was just more closer to me than than, than all of them. You see what I'm saying? Me and Didi was real close. Um, me, Didi, and Kiki. You see what I'm saying? And Buddha, man. <laughs> yeah, I used to be so funny. I pull up on the block, right? It'd be me, Didi, Buddha, man, Kiki, all everybody in the car would be. Folk used to be bad. They'd be like, man, folk got all the hitters in the car <laughs> True story, y'all. True story. Look, now, when uh, when L.A. Capone got, uh, when L.A. Capone lost his life, right, uh, they was having a little repass. Y'all know the repass. I think Rondo did a video for it when Rondo had the little, the little black and white, um, the black and white on. And, um, yeah, I think Rondo did a video for it. So, D.D. and Bags and was like, I'm on the block, right? They like, folks. Take us over here to one of the folks, L.A. Capone, um, repass and stuff like that. And I'm like, hold on, folks. I got to do something right quick. I'm going to be right back. And then I was like, um, I'll drop y'all off over there. I ain't going over there. And they was like, all right, that's cool. Up there. I'm like, I ain't going there. Like, come on, folks. We finna go off to the repass. I'm like, I ain't going over there with you little, little fool. <laughs> you know? I wasn't going. I'm like, nah, I ain't going. It'd be too much going on, right? So check this out. So by the time I pull on normal, to pick these fools up. I call them like, where y'all at? I think uh, they got a ride over there. I don't know if Dirk came and got somebody. No, I think they got a ride over there because I think Dirk was, I think Dirk them was there already. But they got a ride over there. They was like, we over here already, Peso. I'm like, all right. Y'all, it could have been about 20 minutes later. I'm getting a call. Somebody to fired the whole little memorial up for, for L.A. Capone. They didn't hit DD. They hit Money Bags. They hit Rondo number nine. <laughs> they hit one of the Folly Boys. Man, I was like, man, I'm so glad I ain't go over there. <laughs> but then, guess what, y'all? I got to go pick these fools up from the hospital. I go get DD and Money Bags. They both riding in the car with me. <laughs> they mad. We on there telling myself, 
going to do something. But then I had to think about it. I'm like, no, nah, man, we ain't going to do that. Y'all, both of them in the car on crutches. <laughs> both of them in the car on crutches, y'all. We talk about going to do a drill. I'm like, no, nah, we ain't finna do this. <laughs> y'all, they both in the car on crutches. I went and got them. They both in the car on crutches. I'm riding around with two niggas in the car on crutches, man. I was talking about the boys out there. I was like, I'm glad I ain't going there. Jess, I did. He looking over here. This how he was looking in the car. <laughs> I've been there talking crazy. Like, man, both of you fools on crutches, man. Listen, y'all. As soon as they got by, a lot of close calls with these fools. Like the day I told you, I took Dirk to the McDonald's, man. I ain't know how deep the war was. Them boys could have drilled us out, y'all. We had a straight fish bowl, too. Got Dirk and Dana in the back seat, Didi in the front seat. I don't know what's going on. We could have got drilled out. I used to tell them, boy, this is why it's to be like, no dread heads can drive, no dread heads can get in the car with me. Ain't no lie, y'all. At that time, boy, they was twisting up dread like, like, boy, I say, my hollows be twisting up dread like, boy, they was old dreads, boy. I'm telling you, I was like, nobody with dreads can get in the car with me. Any kind of had somebody with dreads in it was getting Swiss cheese. Yeah, but Didi, man, just um, do your thing, man. I'm proud of you, man. Do your thing, do your thing. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and your music that you finna drop, your mixtape and all that stuff, your features and everything that you got finna come out, I'm gonna definitely be promoting it. You see what I'm saying? You know I'm definitely gonna promote it for you. You feel me? Wait, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Just do what you gotta do. You see, I remember when... <laughs> Diddy used to rap a little bit back then, but he never took it serious, though. Him and Buddha got a few little songs out, too. Diddy, you need to put one of them songs out with Buddha, too. <laughs> Get that one redid, boy. But he used to rap a little bit um, back then, but he never really took it serious. So I'm um, really glad that he's taking it serious right mm-hmm. now. He going to be able to... Um um, earn him some revenue. You see what I'm saying? Earn him some revenue. And that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. You see what I'm saying? And this is why I be telling you it would be kind of like an awkward situation where like me and Dirk, you feel me? Because um, it's because of Didi. You feel me? Because of Didi and, and, and a lot of more people. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it is what it is. You feel me? One thing Dirk can never say, he can't never say I'm a hater, though. He can never say I'm a hater. You see, even when when I was having those um, little words with Dirk on social media when that was going on with the Vaughn thing, and when Didi got released, Didi would tell, I told Didi to tell him, I said, tell Dirk, the, um, tell Dirk I said thanks to forgetting you out. You see what I'm saying? And Didi told him, though. Dirk know that. You feel me? He know it. You're in a position to win, boy. You do that for Buddha, Sade, Wu Day. You see what I'm saying, Tay? You do that for all the fallen soldiers, man. Kiki, everybody. You feel me? Everybody we lost from the block, you see? And you in a position now to be one of the um, biggest things that come up out of Tay Town. You see what I'm saying? And you know what we've been through in Tay Town. You feel me? And you know what we do, TTE for life. You feel me? This is how I um this is how I got up on G, G Herbo because Didi used to put me on all the music and stuff like that all the little young guys he'd be like check this out pay so throw this in boom soon as he hop in the car <laughs> he controlling the radio so he go throw it in and um that's how um that was the first time I got up on G Herbo he 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 played the five minutes of hell and he was like this this Herbo and them this is the no limbs. And he was like, these are the guys that you told to get off the block that day. <laughs> we didn't know, y'all. You see what I'm saying? We didn't know. We just came on the block. Oh, geez, we come on the block. It's about 50,000 of this show on the block. We like, who was all these dudes? They were like, these some stones and all that. We was like, nah, man, we don't do that down here on normal. You know, because Tay Town, we was still like, um, you know, we still got a lot of OGs and stuff down there because Tay Town was headquarters. So we was basically like, nah, we don't do that down here. So we basically made them move around. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't like no no gangster stuff made them move around. We just like, man, shorty, they can't be on the block like this, all them stones and stuff because we didn't really know how this new stuff was going. You feel what I'm saying? I had just got out. I think Dirty just got out. Everybody had just really got out. The OG. So, like, we didn't really know how it go. Then they had all the different little clicks and that. But Diddy was the first one that told me, like, boy, Herb is hot, boy. He one of the hottest dudes out. He he said Herb was gonna um, was gonna make it though. He told me way back then when Herb did that five minutes of hell, and that's how I got up on Herb and Bibby when he um from that five minutes of hell. But yeah, and then um, I didn't know that was G Herbo and that was on the block, and we made uh, we made them move around. But you know, it wasn't no disrespect. We just ain't know what was going on at the time. We ain't know how these shorties was out here moving. We ain't know they was clicked up like that and all that stuff. That's why you got to be definitely in tune in Iraq, because you if you ain't in tune in Iraq, 
It don't matter if you GD, BD, Stone, Snake, MC. It don't matter. It's about clicks now. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> because you may have one click with everything in it. Stones, GDs, Vice Lord, Moles. You see what I'm saying? So basically the whole algorithm changed, you see? And then and, and you can't uh, you can't knock it because it's just uh, how things change. You see different generations. And this is just their generation. This is how they do it. But you can't knock it, though. You feel me? You got to... Uh, Go with the flow, and you just got to know what's going on for you to stay safe out here. You feel me? Yeah, yeah man, it's just, yeah. Dave, you talk about that big threat, man. That shit hard, bro. Oh, um, big threat. That was hard, uh, yeah. Uh, it just came about, though. Like, big threat was a nice little thing for me. I did that. Actually, I did that, like, right before we shot the video. Like, right oh, before really? we shot, shot the video, we dropped it. Like, that was hard. That was, like, kind of your introduction to this shit, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. 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 So, what type of feedback did you get? Like, fans was fucking with it? Were they yeah, surprised? They was rocking. They, was, they, they definitely was a lot of people surprised. Like, oh, okay, he's he, he throwing. Like, you can see the progress. You can see they're saying, like, are you elevating, like, from the last one, from the, the first two songs? They're like, I right, you see you doing a little growth, you taking the serious. Like, a lot of people gave the feedback on it. So, it's like, yeah, it was hard. Yeah. Okay. So, you working on, like, a solo project, or you kind of just. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got some stuff in the cut. Yeah. Huh. Playing more pieces with people was going down. So you guys, if you're not up on OTF DD, y'all go on get up on OTF DD. Tune in with him. You see what I'm saying? OTF DD. He is a real lawyer, real dude. You see what I'm saying? The DDL player, he just sit back, he chill. That's why y'all don't see him all on social media woofing and doing all that stuff and all that crazy stuff that you be seeing a lot of these other phony rappers doing and all that. DD is a real member, and he's also a real loyal stand-up dude. You see what I'm saying? He don't be playing none of them snake moves, no, none of that. He's just a real dude. I'll tune in with Lil Bro, especially, um, you know what I'm saying? His music, turn him up. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to you, DD. You see what I'm saying? So uh, do what you got to do, man. We rooting for you. You see what I'm saying? You know Tay Town got your back forever. You feel what I'm saying? Make it happen, boy. The ball in your hand. You see what I'm saying? Holla at me, man. I get in tune with you. You feel what I'm saying? Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe. You know what I'm saying? And pay attention. You feel me? And uh, just know that I'm still watching you, boy. And I'm proud of you. You feel me? Genuine love. And I'm out. Oh, DD. Kiki and Buddha, man. I'll be proud of you right now. You know what I'm saying? Do it for the fools.